Looks like I didn't have to load because it loaded the newest save, which happened to be my save. But, you know, doesn't hurt to be thorough. All right, sorry for the, the homies that have been sticking around for the story because I ain't got no side quest to do right now. So it's all story all the time. Where is... I have to go all the way over here to pick up Home Trick Slice. Come on, let's go. I run faster than this character. This is a big no-no. This type of these types of things. Same speed or faster. Preferably a tiny bit faster. Just a tiny bit. Tyon, look. Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real queens. Yes, real queens. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that... Both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too? Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. 
Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. All right, I have two questions. Uh, first question, why can there be only six Ouroboros? That's a very specific number. And just kind of weird. Second question is, how did this colony come about if if Ouroboros were just like the normal people, then did were they able to raise a family somehow? I like can can the pod people, which I guess I'll call them the term people, can they actually reproduce? Need answers to those questions. These are questions that should have been asked already. Uh, Shania. More walking to do? This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Caught up with the Ethel fight bod? Noise. Mobius warning level. The Kevez and Agnes warning levels have combined to form a single Mobius warning level. There's been a change in colony relations. Thanks. What does that mean? Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. Said because there's only limited stones, but what you didn't get is that she said they would need to somehow interact with it to get the powers, but did this group anything they only used one stone. Um, Van Ham was the one who interacted with the stone, and I guess it just affected our group. But I, I did, I did hear the limited stones part. But like one stone can only affect six people. Like again, that's very specific. <clears throat> this is the dorm for young lost numbers soldiers. Uh, you can sleep here while you're in the city. And ask that guy about your room. Oh, and sadly, there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat at the Chiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How shall we arrange that? Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. Place down the lift from near the Praetorian Hill, which we passed on the way here. I'll let you know closer to the time.
Oh, before I forget, you're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? Said we weren't hostile, right? Thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, oh, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Well, technically she didn't say six per stone. She said only six can be alive at a time. So that wouldn't even make sense. But you know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, cause like Van Ham was there. He could have become uh, a whatchamacallit. There's, there's a lot of people that could have been affected by it. There's a lot of stuff to check out. Now that I have access to the city. Good thing I already went over there. Numbers are short on snipers, right? I've just been considering changing my roles. Oh, my controller is doing this again. Uh, you're changing your blade again? Are you sure you found the right role this time? Blade. That's what they're called in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Blade. Oh, there's a question mark. Quite a few places now. Boral Stone's cage. The object on display upon this plinth is the very first original Ouroboros Stone's cage. It is important to note that initial designs for the monument are said to have included a statue of a seventh founder in its place. Next to no information remains about the seventh founder's identity, and it is possible that this is not due to a simple loss of records. Rather, historians speculate that this is the result of a conscious decision by the seventh founder. Interesting. The even the original Ouroboros were only six people. It's it's super specific. House Ortis, in memory of the founder of House Ortis and the city's liberator. A Kevesi sold, or soldier, this founder was released from the flame clock system by the other founders, and henceforth spent every last ounce of his energy for the cause to liberate the city as one of the first Ouroboros. With surpassing skill in mechanical engineering, the founder fought not with a blade, but with a weapon of his own fabrication. He was also responsible for laying the foundation of all the mechanical systems supporting the city to this day. Following the fight against Mobius, he poured the remainder of his days into rebuilding the city, before finally perishing at the age of 80 years. Though how he attained that feat despite his origins as a Kevesi soldier remains unexplained. I was about to say. I was about to say. House Reed. In memory of the founder of House Reed and the city's uh, Libratrix. Eratrix, I don't know. Uh, rather than the founder herself, this statue depicts the founder's mentor figure standing as a sign of the deep reverence and devotion she felt for her teacher. The founder's master was unconnected to her by bonds of blood, yet he raised her as would befit a child of one's own, it is said. Though of a calm and constant disposition, the sight of him on the battlefield Great Red's sword in hand struck fear into many a Mobius. Though the vicious struggle against Mobius cost his ferocious warrior, this ferocious warrior, his right arm, the loss did nothing to diminish his desire to hone his martial skills each day, standing as vivid testament to his indomitable will. Hmm. House Doyle. O'Doyle rules! Uh, directly descended from those who established the first original city, her whereabouts are, were lost after End's ravaging of the city of old. But upon encountering the other founders, she committed herself fully to the fight. Oh, wow, they're mentioning End this early? Which makes, which says that 
They don't actually know who N is or else they would just say who N is. Or this could just be, you know, gamifying thing. But I guess we'll figure that out. Hmm. Uh, this founder is said to have a familiar relation to the founder of Van Ham with scant extant records suggesting they were likely brother and sister. He fought alongside the founder of Van Ham then, uh, who was the elder of the two and brought the power of Ouroboros to completion. Said to have been bright and wise, this founder laid the cornerstones for much of the city's governance and legal system. House Van Ham. In memory of the founder of House Van Ham, the city's restorer and liberator, the original incarnation of the city was once laid to ruin by Mobius N's hand. The founder realized fully the power of Ouroboros, heretofore limited, and fought against N, ousting him. Once victorious, he gathered the old city's people scattered to the winds and reestablished the city. With the city restored, he left its government in the hands of the founder of Doyle and departed on a lonely expedition. No records exist of his fate thereafter. Heirs of Van Ham's lineage only returned to the new city several centuries later. Oral tradition has it that the founder was master of the classical art of fist fighting, and the scions of House Van Ham carry on the custom to this day. So right now my prediction is N was one of these founders, maybe even the seventh one. Maybe maybe that's a little unlikely. Cass Cassini. Uh, much like with the founder of Reed, this statue too depicts the founder's respected mentor rather than the founder herself. Mentor boasted a robust physique, wielding two great swords at once with utmost ease and facing down Mobius despite the loss of one eye. He lived his life an unsophisticated sort, broad-minded but impassioned, and is said to have aided the founders in the fight against Mobius physically and spiritually. He was further reported to have been a free spirit whose qualities influenced the other founders, still young and impressible when the city was restored. Indelible proof of this religious spirit can be seen time and again in the ethos of the house and generations to come. So where did they So where did they go? There must have been another city then. I'm guessing they just built this one. This doesn't return to the city after centuries. Or it could have been that, but I'm guessing they just built this one, left the other one alone. So the question is where's the old city? Maybe it's over by um, Colony Tau, because there was a city or there was like buildings there. House Roads. Also, why are there two founders depicting uh, mentors instead of the actual founders? That's very suspicious to me. A uh, soldier of Agnes, this founder's fight to the death against the founder of Ortis, a soldier of Kevis, uh, was interrupted by a chance meeting with other founders. Freed from the bondage of her flame clock, she joined the fight against Mobius. Though a soldier, the founder is reported to have been exceedingly gentle and kind at heart. Additionally, her skill in the healing arts greatly contributed to the development of medicine science in the city in later ages, and irrespective of starting life as an Agnian soldier. She is said to have surpassed 80 years of age, though the way she achieved that remains shrouded in mystery. Also, also, also... It sounds like some of these founders um, came to be founders like after a certain amount of time. So the way it, the way I'm understanding this is that uh, one, one to like two, one to three people became Ouroboros and then they went around and freed the flame clocks of other people but then how did the rest of them become Ouroboros?
The city isn't without its own internal squabbles, but at Michima Canteen, everyone is a valued customer. No matter your viewpoints or beliefs, all I want for you is to enjoy some delicious food. Speaking of, I'd recommend Aqua Pazza a la City. It's classic city cuisine. We've made some new friends. Oh, does Brent look? You find what it is you're looking for in the end. That was the last thing that my brother Yu said to me. He made up his mind to head, head out on that important mission with Guernica, but he never came back. It's hard losing someone important. My brother was a fighter. He was prepared to do what he had for his family, or had to for his family. But that doesn't make me miss him less. We've made some new friends. Oxy. However, however you look at it, Guernica was a great man and a heroic fighter. He ceded his position as elder to Monica so that he could carry on fighting uh, on the front lines. Each time he rode back into the city, on his levness, he brought back a brand new tale of valor and daring uh, do. Yes, I certainly wasn't the only one who was eager to hear them either. He inspired courage in all of us, not just the lost numbers. He was a great example right up to his final moments. We've made some new friends. Ganica. <laughs> Julieta. The elder is a lady I admire. Never a stronger woman I have seen. Her father and her spouse together lost, yet still she soldiers on in stern command. As daughter of the noble house of Doyle, I hope that I too climb to such a height. We've made some new friends. Open that. That one is blocked. ticket looks like something simple so I will uh, work on that during the next cutscene what blade did you end up choosing Untype, I guess. My dad said I had more promise with him swords. Hmm, 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 hmm. Friends, no. Name of lost numbers. Number one Levness is mercenary. Also, with containers slotted into, often used as transport craft or armory. Those would be the levnesses we saw around the castle. Also, we have little auto levs about size of one big pawn called Sentry. These special creation of Master Pawn. Ones that uh, we fought in Alfetto Valley, maybe. We've made some new friends. Lighty is gone. Garrett. I knew somebody named Garrett. Uh, the Elder might be welcoming you or Boros with open arms, but I doubt everyone will feel the same. Please, don't disturb the peace we have here in the city. We've made some new uh, friends. We are absolutely forgetting the eye patch at some point. Absolutely. We're doing the thing, controller. You're doing the thing, controller. It's so annoying. I might just, uh, I, I had meant to look online uh, earlier. Maybe 
be that. Come on. Eh. Grab this one real quick. Oh, oh. Greater Pond. See what you got. I suppose I should try and be thrifty. Uh Switch Pro Controller. They're so expensive. Ring guava. Well, well. This sold by. Okay. I might just buy another pro controller. I hate it, but I might. Chop of Wellwell's general store passed down through many generations of traders. Ancestors of Wellwell travel whole of world in caravan, but one day decide to stop caravan and settle here. After that, uh, shop deal in many, many goods, artistic things, knop on craft, f fun printed matters, important services, service to city friends. We've made some new friends. Uh, we're gonna go over there after we talk to people over here. Ian. This expanse here was once the battleground of Kevez and Agnes, and an especially violent one at that. The battle was a swamp for both sides. All that remained was a wasteland mount, uh, mounded high with husks. This was the place that our ancestors made home. A strange and haunted site, but it keeps us safe and hidden. Nothing has really changed since then. We still live here, leading our boxed-in lives, counting out our stagnant little days. We've made some new friends. <laughs> in your life in vain, vain. I thought you were eating some. I think the lost numbers are wrong to carry on stealing cradles at the risk of exposing themselves. All they're doing is giving the enemy more hostages, and yet they still carry on. We all know what kind of atrocities are going on at the castle. We've made some new friends. What's somebody over here? Yes, they moved on. I spoke to my boss today, we had a one-on-one -on -one meeting, and I got a confirmation from said boss that my schedule is not going to change. Oh, that's good news. You already know this, but Agnes and Kevez have been fighting forever, and we've been living so that we escape the notice of Agnes, Kevez, and Mobius for just as long. I think it's about time we stopped living this way, don't you? We've made some new friends. Did you all come from the Atia region? Yes, that's right. Did you happen to bump into my husband? He said he was heading off toward Millic Meadows. Did we? We've made some new friends. So, What's up, GG. Outside. Thunder with noise of war, but uh, inside of city, happily safe. Gigi have eye patch, so Gigi never leave home without. But I didn't think Nopon had any need for eye patches. Keep voices, keep voice tones down, or Gigi have to admit it merely stylish affectation. We've made some new friends. Controller woes, controller woes. All right, let's find out what this quest is all about. This is 
Giga suspicious. We have to keep track of our progress. Uh, who am I adding? Leave it to me. Yes, you do. Oh, strange. Cheat music. And now we know things. And now we know things. I so on some new clothes. It's all making sense. I much appreciate that. Let's see. This is a bit. I'm sneaking some work here. Her. I suppose I should try and be thrifty. Well, I know what you did wrong there. Handle that. Boost maximum HP by 30%. By two of those. Deal 25% more damage, but take 10% more damage. I think that's good. See if these are side quests. Can we get a bite to eat, please? I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? They both are. Well, actually, just two of them are. Apparently, I have five. Let's have a little huddle up. City's full of things I never heard of, and all this amazing tech and stuff. But they seem to have to scavenge things like Levna's parts, like we do. It'll be a sight harder than just normal scavenging, too. Outwitting both Agnes and Kevez to get the stuff they need. Not my idea of fun. And they can't leave any trace behind, either. That's why they have a specialized scavenging force. They're elite, but in a different way to Monica's Corps, which fight on the front line. I assume there can't be many of them, so the force can stay flexible and mobile. What, like a little secret pl platoon? Hey, could we pay a visit to Gnome's, Gnome Wetlands ourselves? I would like to know more about these lost numbers. You're curious about the scavengers? A little. It seems like a lot of hard work. We could lend them a hand. They're probably pretty short-handed over there. At least Uni made it sound like they're a titchy little unit. Oh, so it's my fault, is it? Well, regardless, it'd be a good opportunity to get to know them better. To Gnome Wetlands it is. I'm actually curious about this one, so I'll talk? skim through this one. Uh, people originally one kind with the Ouroboros, so you say explains the similarity with us. You're fighting with multiple blade forms, you don't see oh, floppy, bad habits, basic understanding, Power Girl, Sparks, Ouroboro, Beep Efficiency, okay. Had nothing to do with the blades that Let's I was thinking. So about the sheet music we found in the city. I gave it a play and the melody made me really happy for some reason. It's so strange, it's completely different to Offseer melody. Looks like only half of uh, the music is in here though. I'd really like to know the rest. Someone in the city will have dropped it. 
Could we see if we can find who it belongs to? Yes, please. Okay, let's find somewhere with plenty of people and try to ask him around. We have to keep track of our progress. Ugh, let's be off. A lot of people to ask. Neon. Excuse me, we're trying to find a person who dropped the sheet music. Oh, that's Granddad's. Can't believe he's dropping things in the middle of the street again. Can't keep doing this. Would you mind introducing us to him? We actually like, or we'd actually quite like to meet him. Yeah, why not? Okay, you can help me find him. I mean, Granddad, he's probably standing on the bridge somewhere worrying himself sick. Thank you. Really hard to talk to. We've made some new friends. Oh, that was, that was easy. Name is Boomer? Oh no. Excuse me. There you are. Granddad, you dropped your sheet music again. Can't just say. You can't just say you can't write good music and throw everything away. Wait, you wrote this piece? We wanted to know how the rest of it went, so we came looking for you. It's such a lovely melody. I'd love to be able to play it uh, all the way through. Peace. I think he wants you to go with him. Gotta follow his tracks. We've made some new friends. Sucker fool, old man. Gosh, no, I just gotta oh, so that's how they follow the sucker fool. Slowly. Very, very slowly. All right, well, let me open up. Delivery today if I order within 15 minutes. What? Crazy. I'm gonna order it right now. Do I want it today? It's kind of one of those weird things where it's like, do I want to force this poor delivery driver to go deliver this to me today? Or should I just let them deliver it tomorrow? We'll get it tomorrow. The run thing, it's annoying, but... Not, not so annoying. Wait, I just chose Friday. Today is day. Oh well. Such pretty music. 
Manana Diggit, getting groovy. <clears throat> I think Granddad enjoyed himself. We had fun playing together, too. Uh, pretty different from your off-seeing tunes, innit? Feels a lot more jaunty. It's true, the simple act of listening makes you feel connected to everyone around you. How bizarre. Manana would like to listen again. I'd like to write something like that one day, too. You will, I'm sure of it. And that's that. Okay. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Jaga. What's up? Am I a rare sight to you? City's got three types of folks. Promising youngsters, hardworking adults, adults, and old folks with time on their hands. Time on your hands? Like you don't have anything you need to do? We paint, write poetry, play an instrument, or in my case, have a good old drink every day. Are you an old person? Oh, We've made I you were friends. a kid. Let's go ahead and do that other quest. Like I can get out of here though. Character's compatibility is also greater using compatible character to increase CP gain, making it grow faster, so keep this in mind as well. This was a nice find! Button up a storm on it. So, and. Let me check. Level, level 71. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. This way. The closed captioning said LOL 71? LOL 71? Nope. I didn't say that. I said hello. up there. Oh, I get over there. Something so valuable here. Oh, fight over. Say, where's my teammates? Allow it to cool? That's pretty much what I expected. I'd say we were moving. You're saying stream right later down. in the day. And it's colder outside. 
It sounds like you're making a little bit too much sense. I gotta stream now. I gotta put in these hours now. Hey, that's not your everyday jump. My camera said? Oh. My camera just died. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I don't think my camera necessarily overheats by itself, but it certainly does uh, between the hot weather right now and the, the hot weather in my room. We can't leave it like this. It does that. Time to stand up. in actuality it's it's not actually that hot that? i mean it's hot but it's not actually that hot it's just my room i need like some ventilation in here or something or a fan a fan would do wonders i could go for a fan I'll uh, fix my camera here in a, in a minute. Pollution stream outside. I've had interesting ideas like that. Not quite that, but, you know, weird off the wall things like that. You. Don't worry, we're on your side. We're friends of Monica. We thought you might be able to use a hand. Monica, then you must be Ouroboros. Fantastic. We're fine here, but uh, the captain up ahead could use some help. Uh, seems like monsters are really slowing down the retrieval. Understood. We'll do what we can. Are you fine? They said. Yeah, not to worry. We're five by five. Uh, we'll be taking every last bit of plunder back to the city. This wreckage? It's like a treasure trove for us. Can't be wasting a single bit. Are you okay? Is something wrong? A friend of mine died recently. His name was you. I see. That wreckage... Or I see that wreckage and I just can't help but think about the folks who died there. We should be grateful for everything I left there. That's a feeling I understand well. That'll do. Can they still use their irises while wearing eye patches? That's a good question. I have a feeling we'll we'll never get the answer to that question though. Looky here, the Ouroboros themselves. Zuki told me you were coming. Oof, that's a voice and a half. How rude of me. Rest assured that we will leave no trace of our existence. Well, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic. It's taking you some time to retrieve everything I hear. Had a bit of trouble with Garafas, you see. I don't know what's got them in such a tiz. They just won't seem to leave our salvage alone. Proving nigh impossible to get our hands on those Levinus parts. I'd like to retrieve them undamaged if possible. Well, you just need us to bash up some giraffes. Piece of cake. 
Recovery of resources is the goal. Engaging the enemy is secondary to that. Repeat. Where did that come from? That's the order of priority, don't you forget it. We support more lives with our scavenging than you know. Always keep that in mind, got that? Yes, ma'am. Good lad. Don't worry, it's part of a rookie's job to make mistakes, you know. Rookie? You're the new recruits, aren't you? Now come on, pick up the pace. Use your powers and whatnot to retrieve those parts. Thanks in advance. We've made some new friends. This was a nice find! Call him a suckle fool would be done. Oh, I didn't creep up. intact so well, that's good I didn't fight anything thought there were supposed to be giraffe dudes done. No significant damage to note. Nothing to sneeze at, eh? That's Ouroboros for you, I suppose. But we finally convinced her. This was a test from the get-go, wasn't it? Suppose you wanted to know if the power of the famous Ouroboros could mesh with the Lost Numbers way of life. Well, you saw through us. You're smarter than I thought you'd be. It's good to know how the scavenger troops feel about us anyway. Thank you for telling us. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Thanks to you, I got my... I get to keep my seat team safe. Mizuki's a newlywed, you know, and I couldn't face May if anything happened to him. But I digress. Better get the troops home safely, eh? Thanks for your help. Pleasure working with you, Ouroboros. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Ready. Uh, looks like it's going to be time to mark... Oh, I can train right here. Let's rest and heal up. I have enough? I do. 